Prior to version 10 of NitroCell, we used a pair of pull-downs to define the steps and operations you wanted to perform within Creo Parametric. While this worked and was efficient, as we've added more and more functionality over the years, these lists have gotten very long, and uh, it's been very difficult to kind of identify uh, the specific areas and functions you're interested in. So the functionality worked great, but there's a better way to do it. We're taking advantage of something called a structured reference, which is basically a formula to a table within uh, Excel. This enables us to uh, present all of the functionality within NitroCell in a much more efficient way. So the way this works is you basically write a formula to uh, pull the information together. So you start off with an equal sign, an NC command, and then a hard bracket. And then from there, you can kind of filter the entire list of commands that are available in NitroCell directly. So if you try to type in the short version of that, like I'm looking for model or open, it's not going to work. It has to use that NC command reference, a hard bracket, and then you can then find your function that you're looking for. So NitroCell uses the text of this to perform the operations. And these are actually formulas. And formulas aren't bad, but uh, one thing we've decided to do with NitroCell is just automatically convert those formulas to the text that we actually use to keep things simple. So as you can see here, whenever you do an upgrade on a workbook, um, it will convert these to the proper format. And you can, of course, just type this in manually. Upgrading the workbook will also convert old versions of NitroCell to this new format making things a little bit easier and making things more efficient in the end.